Royals. Man, man, man. Listen. <sighs> I done saw some interesting news on my timeline, some very sad news on my timeline, and I wanted to come through and just talk about it a little bit. Uh, I, I felt like this was one of those sneaker news uh, scenarios that it affects a lot of us a lot of us mm -hmm. when you think about you know our childhood and nostalgia and just how some of us came to appreciate sneakers man oh <laughs> east bay east bay is shutting down at the end of the year man it's emotional it, it, it's emotional you know for for anybody who were around you know i was born in the 80s i'm a 90s kid so i can only speak for my particular generation but east bay for my generation like that's what kept us in tune with what sneakers like who was the hottest sneaker like coming out or what was out or maybe put a little checklist of what we wanted whether we were going to actually get it or not <laughs> like <laughs> getting those east bay catalogs and taking them to school and just sifting through them and you know pointing out the shoes that's the dopest like you know i i've said it repeatedly how i was one of the kids who you know i didn't get all of the latest and greatest stuff east bay outside of like seeing other kids with the latest and greatest stuff east bay was my other my only other way of knowing outside of you know watching sports here and there my family wasn't actually my family wasn't a big sports family so for me to be the, the sports the basketball fanatic that i am um it's it's it's, it's still a wonder but anyway so east bay was my way of knowing like what was the hottest sneaker you know that was out or that was coming out you know um none of them i could actually have right but the the, the dream of just you know going through that catalog and, and if i did have the money i could have it like i could order it in the catalog fill out the little form send my little money order and and receive my package in a couple of weeks or a week or however many days right um I definitely was one of the kids that had the East Bay catalog. Like, that's just a part of the nostalgia, right? That East Bay catalog, that's what made East Bay East Bay. Um, and for everybody that knows about the news today, they came down. Like, that's the first thing you think of when you think of East Bay, you know? Um, it, it That catalog alone is, is a memory that just, again, Pretty much everybody that's a sneaker fanatic that was a 90s kid or or even a little, you know, a decade or so, you know, ahead of that remembers East Bay. You know, this is a company that has been around since 1980, right? So they definitely put in some time. They definitely stuck their claim. And um, man, this is, this is super sad. So my understanding from what I read here, you know, basically they're saying that you know um the multiple e-commerce uh businesses out there pretty much forced the catalog to become obsolete right so um it forced east bay to become digital to sustain the business but because you know Foot Locker is the parent company them trying to you know streamline how they distribute and become more efficient and of course you know companies like east bay Kind of get put on the chopping block so uh we, we all kind of know Foot Locker has been making moves that align with that for the last couple of years um didn't see east bay coming out of the out of the picture but um i mean at the end of the day you know a lot of us can't say that we were just you know still buying a lot from east bay uh i would say probably the last time i've been trying to i've been racking my brain since the news came out uh, what was the last pair of, of sneakers I bought from East Bay? And I want to say it was like in 2017. So even myself, you know, um, and partially to blame if, if, if the lack of 
traction and demand from the consumer uh the east bay is a part of what happened here right so um i can't think for the life of me what the shoe was that i bought last but it was definitely you know within that 2016 through 2017 um time frame for sure again i have i, I do not remember what i bought but i remember the first thing i bought so i posted this in a couple of my pictures on ig and you may have also if you were in tune with the ep i dropped i did a visual version of the ep as well and it's my my cynthia cooper jersey my cynthia cooper jersey was the very first thing i ever got out of the east bay catalog this was the late 90s this was the late 90s for me so <laughs> This is so many memories outside of this being my favorite player, right? But where I got it from, where I got it from was East Bay. So, of course, I never let this jersey go. Um, I'll, listen, it's going to be faded out until the end. <laughs> but um, I got it from East Bay. So this is my piece of East Bay um, that I have. That's a treasure to me. And... Um, man this is this is crazy so as far as like everybody involved at east bay you know definitely thoughts go out to everybody um they're saying there's still going to be some employees that are working to the last official day um from what i read which is april 30th of next year i hope that maybe they'll do something that's commemorative for east bay maybe drop like one last catalog or something that'd be dope one last catalog um that just features maybe some of the classic pairs that we all adored from back in the day or maybe they'll do something that uh commemorates just the overall assortment of what they used to have because of, of course it was more the sneakers it was sports apparel as well so i'd be interested to see if maybe you know full locker would allow them to do something that will serve the the fans that um that really appreciated what what east day was for us especially in the 90s um that cat that catalog no, was unmatched nobody i don't i can't think of any other um catalog out there that was like a east bay catalog you know uh, any other catalog i think of is like jc penny right <laughs> but of course that's you know like coats and suits and dresses and you know jeans shirts all that good stuff so it's not the same east bay was specific to the athletes out there you know you could buy your team colors of a certain shoe uh with east bay would show you certain shoes that had the team colors and then you had the official colors that the signature um athlete would wear like man 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 i just ugh. again again whether you were that kid that um that got a lot of the stuff that was hot in the east bay catalog um or or not you know it's, it's a it's a fond memory for all of us and so this being the end of an era for that it just makes us wonder you know what 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 direction is is, is sneakers going into now obviously the digital digital world is is the direction for everything right so it's no question about that but you know it, it makes you wonder do we or will we have you know any stores boutiques um establishments that are like in east bay uh that will leave a mark like in east bay or are we just trying to find the, the store that we can get whatever the thing is we're trying to find is has right but the store has no significance right so um i think probably that's what we're moving into is, is less about the store more about me being able to get the item that i want right me being able to get the collab i want me being able to get the latest release i want um who cares about the store right the store means nothing they just need to have what i want right i, I think that takes away the that takes away the the place it holds for us from a memory perspective um east bay to me i feel like is the last of that type of business when you say east bay first thing you think of was the identity of east bay that printed catalog so again um 
just the thought of East Bay being gone definitely will will miss being able to know that they still exist considering again the place that they played um in my era of growing up uh but like everything else we move on we move forward but anyways do any of y'all have any like dope memories from East Bay um what was the first thing you purchased what was the last thing you purchased again this is this is the one for me this is this is the first thing i ever purchased from east bay and again a prized possession for me i think i paid for it with my own money i think i saved i was saving some money that maybe a relative had given me or multiple relatives or something i don't i don't even know how i ended up with it but i do know that i paid for it um it's probably a money order <laughs> with no credit cards in my household so more than likely it was a money order shipped that old catalog form out and i got my first e east bay purchase <laughs> But anyway, man, y'all hit that comment section. Let me know of, of, you know, your most fond East Bay memory. Um, again, you see mine. So, sad, sad day. Sad, sad day. So, until the next one, y'all. Man, this is something else. Woo. It's been another one from your girl, Q the Queen. I'm going to get on up out of here, man. <laughs> until the next one, y'all make sure y'all come on back. And, um... Yeah, the next one will be coming up really soon. We got topics, we got pickups. Let's do this thing. So, until next time, baby. <laughs> Royalty. <laughs> Peace. The queen is hyped up. The queen is hyped up.